guys. Wow, it really has me. back of my yard we have a big large field behind me we have plenty of room to to try out the testing on the on the smart track on the Femi x8 se so let's get this bird up in the air and let's test out the smart track and let's see if they fix the issue and see if it works What's up guys, here we are. We're here, we're gonna, we're gonna set up. We're gonna put the landing pad down, we'll get everything started. So we'll get the beaming Navi app started and we'll get going. So let's test this thing, this bad boy out guys. All right, here we go. All right, now that we got everything ready guys, we're going to turn on the controller, get everything set up. I'm going to show you guys the, the latest, we're going to show you the latest firmware update that we had. Okay, so now that we're in, uh, we got the controller set up, uh, we got the feeding that we have going, and here we go. It says we got a new firmware found. It's your lucky day guys, we got another firmware update that we have to do. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit, guys, so we can get this uh, going and done with. So there we go. The firmware is uh, downloaded successfully. So it says download completed. Camera flight control download successful. There we go. Download, click on download completed. It says download completed. Now, there we go. Sorry, okay. It says enter device. We enter the device. There we go. And now here it says firmware update. Please update the new firmware. So we're going to go up and click update now. There we go. All right. And then it says here in the bottom start to upload update so you click ok you wanna you wanna start the up dating click that ok there we go now it's saying it's uploading so give it some time let it upload alrighty Right, we're at eleven percent. Fast forward this. There you go. Now you'll hear a beep. If you hear that beep, that means it's it's finishing up the process, and you see the lights start flashing. So when you hear that beep, the lights will start flashing. It's 
finishing up the process of uh, uh, uploading. 87%, 90%, and now we're at close to 100. The uh, drone just um, restarted. We're here to restart again. We'll make it sound, and we're good to go. We're at 100%. There we go, guys. Here it says update completed. Camera flight control updated. Update succeed. Click on update completed, and we're good to go. Okay. So here we are guys so now what we're going to do is we'll go into the um, the up right hand corner in the settings we'll go open up this menu here you see the top we're on the top um, left hand corner where you see that drone symbol where it's said next to flight records you click on that you'll it's highlighted blue now so you'll see the light the limited of flight speed we're gonna keep that the same way as I had it before we'll keep everything the same limit of flight height we'll keep it at 288 and then we'll go the height to return home we'll keep it almost at 100 so 99.7 um, now cal calibrate we don't need to calibrate because I'm flying in the same location like if you want to go in and uh, fly elsewhere if you change locations you want to make sure that you recalibrate every time so we have a fail safe we have returned to home okay that's okay and precise landing we got that set uh up, update dynamic home point and smart track you want to turn that on because we're going to be working with the smart track because we did do the update on that uh, you want to enable the backward climb in Smart Track as well. So as you move back forward towards it, the, the drone will move back. So you want to keep that on, but be careful. You don't want to fly this in closed areas. You don't want it to, you don't want to be too low. If you're around a lot of objects, trees, guys, you don't want it to crash into a tree or any objects. Make sure you have it way above um, the height that you're flying. So. Um, so you can avoid those obstacles. All right. Um, let's see here. We have all oh, the rest of that is okay. We're gonna go down the to the the transmitter remote. I don't need to do a re uh, RC calibration. I did all that. So let's go down here. Everything is fine. The gimbal. I don't need to do that. We're gonna check the battery level. The battery level is all good. We have at 97%. Everything is normal. No over discharge. So we have a low battery warning. We have it set at 30%. So when it reaches 30%, it'll warn us. And um, there we go. So we have returned to home uh, enough where we can, uh, uh, where the battery level goes low, we have enough to get home. It will return to home. And then it says land when battery only enough to land. So we got that going. So we'll go back down to here, all the way on the bottom. And we have standard for the map. We have Google Maps set and we have Imperial because we're in the United States and we're gonna go into firmware updates now guys this is where we had the recent firmware updates that we had I believe it was a week ago uh, here's the recent updates guys the flight control change um, it's at 1024 D we have the RC relay at 2009 B the FC relay at 2009 B we have the uh, camera at 2028A. We have the RC at 1004A. We have the Vision at 2003A. And that's about it. That was the um, recent updates that we had. Okay? And including the one that we had today that I just showed you. So, here we go. Let's back out of there. We're all set. Let's go back down here. Let's go to maintenance mode, body sensor. We don't have to do that. I already did my IMU check on the flat surface. And we're good to go. So now, Let's test out the um, the uh, smart track, guys. So let me just go back into the camera settings. Let's go to the camera. Let's go to video mode. We're gonna keep that on. Uh, let's go to HDR. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Let's go to video size. We're gonna go at 24 frames a second. Okay. Okay. Let's go to high and white balance 
let's let's it is sunny out so let's go sunny let's see how that looks uh that's pretty good yeah sunny looks pretty good i must say so yeah let's keep that at sunny um Let's go to keep the metering mode at um, center. Let's go to color. We'll keep the color at general. And we'll go to video encode at H.264. I could go to H.265. I bit rate, so uh, I'll put it at that and see. So here we go, guys. Uh, let's get the grid lines. So I want to see the horizon. See if they fix that, and we're good to go. Um, it says format SD card. I don't need to. I still have space. I only use that. I didn't use much, so keep that as that. Um, that's it. Okay. So let's get out of there now, guys. Let's press record. We're gonna press record. There we go, and we're gonna start with the smart track. So let's get started with the smart track, guys. Here we go. So let's take off. We have 17 satellites. Let's take off. There we go. Sing. Okay, let's do it. As you can see, guys, she is steady as a rock. Let's take her up. Alrighty, we got her up there. All right, so now let's do a smart track, guys. Let's bring the camera down so she can see me. She is steady, guys. She is steady. Now, as you can see, I'm right here. There I am. Okay, so now, let's bring the camera up a little bit, right there. Now, what you wanna do is you want to go inside on the right bottom corner there, at that, uh, that robot head there. We'll go to Smart Track. You want to click Trace, so you press OK. And you wanna draw a rectangle around. So around the object. So that's me. I'm drawing a rectangle around it and I'm gonna press go. So now we're gonna see if the smart track works. So let's see. So yep, it's working guys. There we go. The smart track is working. It's working perfectly, guys. Well, there you go, there's the proof, guys. Femi did a wonderful job with the smart track. There we are. As you can see. It is right on me, and as I move a little bit towards the shade, because there's no, there you go, it's got me. Now as I move forward towards it, it will back up, and it will turn around as I go this way, and it's got me, guys. Wow, it really has me. Feeny has done it, guys. They did a wonderful job. Congratulations to Femi and to all you guys that own the Femi. There you go, it's following me. Now as you can see, it's got me. So watch, I'm gonna do some running. Backing up. It's keeping up with me. Look at that. So it's going to turn around now. Okay. So let's get out of there. So now let's draw another rectangle, guys. Let's try me running now. Okay. Go back to the smart track. 
Let me see if it can, now let's see if it can keep up with me when I run. Okay? So let's see. It's got me. Look at that, it's got me guys. Now, I'm gonna run and I'm gonna see if it keeps up with me. As you can see, it's keeping up with me guys. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that guys. <laughs> Feeny fixed it, ladies and gentlemen. And they did a wonderful job. guys and see you guys in the next video peace